Good morning. Another beautiful day. Very expensive, very light items like titanium cookware, carbon fiber camp chairs, this kind of thing. And people spend a lot of money on that. But really the ultimate ultralight is just to not carry said item. And that's free. Something else I was thinking about was uh, getting a pet guinea pig, a pet kui. They're very popular here, kui, for eating mostly. Here's a mural of somebody riding a great majestic kui. I could just buy a live kui and keep it as a pet. If I didn't want to keep it anymore, I would have no moral confusion about killing it or selling it. Sometimes I'm really shocked by the land that people manage to cultivate. That must be incredibly difficult to get to. Last night I was targeted by intentional but erroneously applied xenophobia, including a threat of violence. I don't have video footage, so you'll have to read my blog post about it. Now I'm on my way to find some more waterfalls. I had a great wild campsite last night at an abandoned gravel pit, and now I'm at the turnoff for the waterfalls. All right, nice waterfalls. Here's the lake that feeds the waterfalls, and this road actually goes up to another lake. I cycled towards the lake until I encountered this locked gate. I paid this park ranger five soles, or about a dollar thirty, and we entered the gated area together. His fingers and lips were green with coca leaf, and he balanced the poncho on his head while he walked. To get back to the main road, I can either go up 300 meters along a road, or down 800 meters along a footpath. The footpath is more of a risk because I don't know if it's actually passable, but I think I'm gonna try it and just find out. All right, I'm halfway down this pretty gnarly uh, experimental single track section and my bottom bracket just broke. It's mostly downhill to the next big town, so I'm just going to try and make it there and hope I can find a new bottom bracket. The first two bike shops I went to didn't have any new bottom brackets. The third bike shop I went to also didn't have a new bottom bracket, but that didn't deter them from immediately taking apart my bike. They took out the bottom bracket, oiled it, put it back in, and told me it was good to go. It still had a ton of play though. So they took off the cranks again and tightened the bottom bracket as tight as they could. Now it had slightly less play, so I took it for a test ride and I heard some cracking noises and it completely seized and I had to walk back to the bike shop. Luckily they found an old bottom bracket laying around and so they installed that. It's completely the wrong size, but at least I can ride my bike again. Also, they let me sleep in this spare room. 